everybody welcome back to my youtube channel or if you're new around these parts hi my name is missa welcome join the family instagram twitter join them if you want today i'm filming an eye tutorial and then i thought you know what these don't match that well really i'll work it out i'm filming an eye tutorial and then i thought i'd kind of just do a chatty putting the rest of my makeup on get you up to date keep you in the loop and answer some questions or assumptions Shh that some of you have sent in. So we're just gonna start. I'm gonna do my routine that I've been doing a lot recently and really enjoying. My laptop is in the way. I'm gonna start off with my Good Molecules silicone free priming moisturizer. I really, really, really like it. I've got so much glitter on my hands. <laughs> so, um, so you'll notice I'm in a new background. I am in Alwa, it's where I've moved to, it's a little town, it's a town, it's not a city, it can't be big enough, in Scotland, I don't know where I am to be honest, I just found a flat and moved here, and I have a lovely flat, I should hopefully have a video up pretty soon on my new flat, kind of moving in, a little bit vlog style, setting up my beauty room, that kind of thing, and I'm just so excited to have like my proper backdrop again, my fairy lights, and Oh, I'm excited. The only problem is it's such a cold flap. I've had to order a electric blanket for my bed because I just get so cold. <laughs> I really like the town so far. It's pretty busy um, and it's got pretty much everything I need in it, including lots of charity shops for getting all my books and lots of like pound land, pound stretcher type shops for like all my cleaning products. So. I'm pretty happy. Oh, also all the major supermarkets are really close by. I really like this moisturizer. It just feels great on my skin and I know it's priming as well. And then what I've been doing is taking my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This one is in Minor Sin. I'm using this one because I don't like the color as much for my eyelids. And I'm gonna put this on my T-zone and where my texture is the worst, just because I feel like all, um, the stress that I've been under recently, it's just really showing on my skin. And by doing it this, wow, does it make a difference. Wow, wow, wow. I'm picking on quite a lot, aren't I? And then I'm just gonna blend that in. My moisturizer's still a little tacky, so this blends in pretty easily. So yeah, I've got my lovely flat. I've got my filming room again, and it means I can really Oh, why have I not tied my hair up? I can really just get back to filming and filming all the time. I really like my upload schedule of three videos a week and I've not been able to do that recently and it has been upsetting me a lot because this is my favorite thing to do ever. So, well, apart from horse ride. Yeah, it's been quite annoying not really being able to film. Like staying with my brother and my sister-in-law was, excellent obviously they gave me a roof over my head however they had their own schedules and things like that so it was quite hard to find the time to film um if they weren't working i was always a little bit anxious about it like filming so yeah i'm so glad i've got my own filming room again and i can just fart around naked if i want and film videos i can't stop using my abh foundation i'm going to use 110c I love it, it's really really pale, it might look a little pale when I put it on right now especially, but I am kind of red in the face because I've got an electric heater on, because like I said this flat is really cold. So so one question was, have I got my eye on a rescue dog? I've had my eye on many rescue dogs, again if you've missed a few videos I am looking for a small dog. Just because I'm in a flat and although it's a two bed flat and it's got a nice big living room and things, I just feel like it's unfair to put like a larger dog in this space permanently. So yeah, I'm looking for a smaller dog. Um, if anyone's got a chihuahua that they want to give me, that would be great. Any small breed, not fussy. Um, I had my eye on this really lovely pug cross, like it was called Izzy, that was really overweight and lovely and I loved her. And she got rehomed. And then there was a Shih Tzu called Darcy. She got rehomed. All the small dogs get rehomed so quickly. It's such a pain. You see, putting the primer potion like on my nose um, and my cheeks here. 
Where's my texture? I love this foundation with my whole heart, which is weird because it's not full coverage. Probably looks it to you because of my bright lights, but it really isn't. I've done some close-ups using it. And then probably my last video, actually. I've got those Scottish dry and crusty lips, so i just take my foundation off and I'm going to use a Ciate Watermelon Burst Hydrating Lip Oil. Honestly, just because it's so cute and it reminds me of being young and putting lip gloss on from a tube. It really smells <clears throat> excellent. I kind of flip-flop on my concealer, but recently it's been my Jouer in lace. And I always need a bit more concealer when I use this foundation because it isn't full coverage. And I do want quite full coverage today just because I'm doing such a bold eye. I want it to be, my skin to be like really kind of perfected. Next question is, how are you? Are you coping with life? I'm coping. I'm still here. Which I didn't think I would be back in November, that's for sure. But I'm still here. Got my new flat. Just trying to get back to the way things were. Just obviously things are different. But I just want to be myself again. And film all the time. And have friends. And you know just live. I'm still sad. I'm lonely. And living on your own for the first time is. I wouldn't say that fun. But I'm told I'll get used to it. And it'll all be okay. So I'm hoping for that. Look at that base. Like, it's really glowy and lovely, but really kind of perfect as well. I wouldn't say it's natural, but I like it. And the powder I really do just keep returning to is my Jeffree Star. This is in translucent. It smells great. It actually smells excellent. And I'm gonna try, carry on my theme of setting my under eyes with a brush. I think it maybe just doesn't put on quite as much product. And you get that kind of slightly less cakey, crepey under eye, but do I prefer baking at this point? Yes, but I'm trying. I'm trying, Robert, I'm trying. I think in this past week I've watched like every single video he's ever made. I'm just using that with my BH Cosmetics Studio Pro 2 brush over the rest of my neep. Great brush. I don't know what it is about this powder. I think it's it's like an HD powder. It's really finely milled and really lovely, but it doesn't have the HD powderness. I just don't like HD powders personally. Um, but this is that kind of texture, very finely, finely milled. But yeah, it, it doesn't make my skin look weird and flashback. It will obviously take away some of that lovely glow that I've got, but you know, we'll add it back. Margaret's cat hairs have followed me. They've followed me here, I still find them. <laughs> I've asked my brother and sister-in-law to ensure that I get a daily photo of Margaret, so they text it to me every day. I miss that cat so much. I don't usually get attached to cats that easily because I find cats very aloof and not that nice, but Margaret was so lovely. And you all know my next step, Revolution Pro Skin Finishing Opalescent. Just gonna add that shine back. I still get a lot of questions about this product. It's not glittery, it's just a sheen, it's just the hourglass ambient lighting powders, but way more affordable. Way, 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 way more affordable. Millions of shades. I mean, look, I just look healthy. My skin does anyway. And I'm trying to cycle through my setting sprays because I realized recently I've got so many setting sprays, I don't need so many, so I'm gonna use the Alginist. Splash Hydrating Setting Mist. This is actually really nice and I think it's quite posh. I got it for free but I've been using it and liking it. I just, I do feel quite luxurious when I spray it. Just smells posh. 
it sprays posh, the bottle looks posh, it's just posh, who am I? I'm not posh. Really lovely mister on that one, I can see a lot of you really really liking that if you want to splash out on that much. Oh, Paula asks, are you feeling a little bit proud of the groups you've created for your sausages? My sausages, by the way, are my patrons. I don't know how it came about, they're, they're the sexy sausages, it's just how it is. I want to go kind of really bronzed today. Yeah, I think I'll use my Too Faced Sweethearts bronzer because I don't really use this enough. Um, so I've spoken about this before, about how um, for my patrons we've got um, a WhatsApp group, we've got a Facebook group, we've got Discord, and it's just the best thing since sliced bread. If I am feeling down in any way, I just go on and start chatting with people on WhatsApp, there's always people awake. And I either get advice, I know this looks a bit stark right now, but don't worry. I'll get some really good advice or I'll get some really good jokes or just, you know, a distraction from whatever is making me feel down at that moment. And I know a lot of other patrons use it for that same purpose as well. Or for makeup inspiration, people just post the most beautiful looks that they've done. Yeah, I am quite proud because I know a few people have like made actual physical friends from it. They've found out that they don't live that far away from each other. We've had a couple patrons do lives where they've just met up with another patron and then they go live together on Facebook and it's just great fun. And then I just enjoy doing lives every week because everyone just cheers me up so much. I'm just gonna go over it with my powder brush. I kind of forget that this bronzer is actually maybe perchance a little dark for me. And yeah, it's just a really nice bunch of people really nice i've met three of them the other day they came around to my house my new house we chatted on the sofa for hours essence um contouring kit that's what i'm using by the way contouring duo i love it everyone should go and buy it and it was just fun meeting people in real life because i've been talking to i mean one of the girls specifically lauren who popped around i've been talking to her for like feels like two years on instagram and we finally met up and she was just so lovely in person as was Katrina who brought her dog Willow and Izzy who I met in Asda and then she came back, I didn't just meet a random person in Asda, she is a subscriber and a patron and she came round, we did the Asda shop together and then she helped me clean up a lot in my new flat so and I think a bunch of us are going to go out and have a few drinks for my birthday, which is next week. You know, how did I get so lucky, honestly, meeting all these people online? What do you guys think about the ABH Foundation? Because I truly think it's excellent. I wish it was priced like £10 cheaper. And I feel like a lot more people would try it then, because the price it is, is very very expensive, too expensive for many, many, many people, which is a real shame because I do feel more people need to try it. I'm going quite heavy by the way because I've not done like dramatic makeup in a while and I just feel like it. Do you know what highlight I've been reaching for all the time? And I think it's because I had it in my like everyday makeup bag for when I was moving and still wanted to like look presentable. It's Mary Lou by the BAM and I just, shh, I don't know, I don't, hmm. I've just kind of remembered again how good it is. And I feel like it's just one of those really wet look highlighters. I'm using this brush for the first time, Colourpop F5 because I love my Kaleidos H1 and they're very similar in shape so I'm just testing this one. It's just so beautiful. It's one of those really cult classic ones. And I feel like I buy quite a lot of cult favourite products and then forget that I have them. But this, I'm trying not to use my Jacqueline Hill one every day, which I really, really, really love. But it's so expensive. I mean, I went online to buy the face one, like all over glowy face powder, and I just couldn't justify spending £37 on it, so I didn't buy it. And 
boy oh boy do I want it but I, it's not a necessary purchase I think it's a MAC makeup artist that said put highlight in between your brows and I just do it now so I got a couple of questions about the new Jeffree Star palette what's it called Royal Blood I don't even know I've not even watched this video to be honest yet I'm sure I will I'm not that excited about it and I get probably 10 DMs a day of people asking me if I'm going to buy it. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I was also asked about the new Jaclyn Hill one and I didn't really plan on buying it. And then I don't know what happened. I was just sitting in my car one minute and the next minute I had a confirmation from Morphe that I bought it. So yes, Jaclyn Hill one should probably be here tomorrow or the next day. I don't know what the kind of shipping speeds to Alloa is. I'm just used to being in the Edinburgh city centre. I'm just glowing. So, yeah, we'll, we'll do a video on it. More spray. But in terms of the Jeffree Star, I mean, I put up a poll on my Twitter if people wanted me to test it. And it is, as always, more people want me to test it than don't. Um, I don't know. I'm not that excited about the Jeffree Star palette and I just feel like it's quite underwhelming. I was hoping, because a lot of people were telling me he was going to do blood money and I thought it was going to be all greens and I thought, oh, that is what we need because we all have purples. I've got the Morphe 39S or 39G. I don't really need more purples. I've got my Morphe. I've got my Huda's. I don't need any more purples and I don't feel like the, the his new palette is very unique. I think it's like every other purple palette out there. I don't get why there's one like bluey green in it. I don't like that. The gold is not that nice. I'm just not excited. I hate the packaging. Oh my goodness. I need to do like a drunk, um, what's the word? A drunk unpopular opinions video and talk about the Jeffree Star palette. It's I very well may crumble on the day it's releasing and buy it because that's generally what happens with Jeffree Star releases for me. I'll be like, nah, I don't want it. And then on the day, I will be hyperventilating and sweating and having um, a great panic because I'm trying to buy it, even though, to be honest, I don't really want it that much. If someone bought it for me, <laughs> I'd be delighted to test it. Where is my blush? Somebody help me. Help to me. I'm gonna use my Zoeva blush, this is soft sun, but this one is the shade Twilight Hour. I realised the name was on the inside of the packaging and it's peach and I feel like it will be more appropriate with my eyes rather than a pink and it's got a little bit of a sheen to it. I got this in the sale and even then it was still really expensive. But do I really like it? Yes for the colour. The formula is just a blush in it. Someone asked, um, it wasn't on this, they just sent me a DM saying, am I still planning on getting a job? Now that I've moved, because I've spoken about with, I think more with my patrons that I do want to get a job, now that I've moved to, I was going to say another country, another place, I do plan on getting a job. I want to work two days a week, somewhere. A the money will be great, help pay for more makeup. B, I'll hopefully make some friends, I'll get to know the town a bit more, and it will just be a bit more stability for me, and also I find when I do have a job, I work harder on my YouTube because I have less time to do it, so it seems more important, whereas when I'm doing it full time, I'm like, meh, I'll just film tomorrow, it doesn't matter. Well, I can do whatever I want, you know? Um. So yeah, I've applied to ASDA, I've applied to Aldi, I'm going to apply to Tesco today. Um, I don't know, I just fancy like a supermarket because I feel like there'll be always people to talk to. Like customers and staff, it's such a big place, there'll be so many people. You know, Aldi also pays incredibly well considering, so yeah. Going back to it, let me know what you think of the Jeffree Star or the Jaclyn Hill. The thing about the Jaclyn Hill one that I meant to say is it does, to me, it doesn't have Jaclyn Hill's name on it. Like, I've never seen her wear bright pink, really. Like, 
pinks and purples I know she does it sometimes but really she is more neutral but then she can't release a second neutral palette so I kind of see why they've done it but at the same time I'm like mm, it doesn't really speak, much, speak your name that much I don't know what to do with my under eyes I'm like really tempted to do pink but I feel like that might might be too much I could do pink at the start and the purple and the blue couldn't I I just want to try that. I just want to do a multi-coloured explosion on my eyes because I have been so natural recently. And neutral. I'm using my Mitchell by the way. I don't know which video will be up first, the eyes or this. Ooh, and then I'll use purple I think. Yeah, I think I can work with that under eye. I'm just going to go quickly whiz off. Whiz off? I'm going to whiz off. Do my under eyes and then I'll come back. We'll do lips and answer a couple more questions. That's how I'm looking right now. I just... Mm, you see the way my skin looks? Apart from the fact that I've got a wrinkly forehead. And definitely need more Botox. I'm so happy with my skin. And to you it looks perfect anyway because of the lights. But you know me, I often do close-ups. I'm back. I don't want to do a nude lip because I feel like I've been doing nude lips all the time. I want to be bright colourful Melissa so I'm going to try something that might not work. I want to do like a pale glossy pink lip. I'm going to go in with Max Snob. Who remembers this? This guy. I definitely bought this because YouTubers told me to buy it and I actually love it. colour is making me so happy. I definitely need to bin it though. It does not smell that great. <laughs> I want to make it a tiny bit more glossy so I'm going to try this iconic London lip gloss in Peekaboo. Mm, we'll see. It might like make the lipstick weird. Yeah that is kind of what I had in my head. Feels very like old school Melissa. I'm happy about it. Clearly feeling myself over here. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the old me. Lots and lots of makeup. Well, there we go. I know this look is not gonna be everyone's cup of tea. The eyes, the lips, both together. But I am, I'm just glad that I'm feeling more excited about makeup again. Got my filming space. So happy to just jump back into the swing of it and start filming every day. Let me know if you would wear this whole makeup look out and about or doing whatever you wanted to. I would. Probably not lip gloss though, because I hate lip gloss getting stuck in my hair. Um, We've got one more question and hopefully this is the last time we talk about it. It is, how is your back? And I'm very pleased to say, well, it's still sore. So it's still sore like every day. All day, every day. All day, every day. But I have come off all of my prescription medications. I kind of cold turkeyed at the end with my gabapentin and my cocodermol, but I was so sick of relying on it all the time, having to go to the doctor all the time to get repeat prescriptions, having to feel quite cloudy and ugh, 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 all the time. So yeah, I've come off all of my medication. I sometimes take over-the-counter cocodermol that I got in Boots. Um, maybe every few days if the pain is really intolerable but apart from that I'm trying just zero painkillers still using hot water bottles back is still looking really bad but apart from that like I am massively improved hence why I'm looking to go back to work and I'm excited about it so yeah so yeah that is it for me today thank you for submitting questions I didn't answer all of them not even close um sorry I will do another Q&A and I hope you enjoyed me yimmering and yammering which I tend to do a lot. If you did enjoy this video please do me a massive favour give it a big thumbs up it really helps me out. Also leave me a comment down below anything you want and subscribe because it's the polite thing to do. As always I have to say a ginormous thank you to my Patreon. Thank you guys so much for supporting me on Patreon as well as watching all of my videos. It obviously baffles my brain and boggles my bum. I couldn't and wouldn't be here without all of you guys 
chatting me, chatting to me, hyping me up, giving me support and advice the past few months especially. So yeah, thank you so much. And if you want to be a Patreon and join our WhatsApp group, our Facebook group, our Discord, and watch me on live every week, then the link is in the description box. But if you can't or don't want to become a Patreon, please don't worry about it. Watching my videos is honestly the biggest support I could ask for. I really appreciate it so, so, so much. And on that note, I shall now piss off. And I hope I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.